This video tutorial is going to show you how you can record instructional content and upload it directly to your Canvas page. First thing you'll need is some sort of Canvas page. This can be on a discussion, page, assignment, or quiz. Hit edit at the top of the page and that'll bring up the rich text editor. Design your page so that there's some content and context around it. For me, this is gonna be a page that introduces students to the course. It's best practice to give some context and content around your video so students know why they're watching it and what to look for. In this case, it's just an introduction video of me. Make sure you have a space where your cursor is selected where you want the video to be inserted. Then go to the button titled Record Upload Media. In order to record video using your computer, your computer is going to have to have a microphone and a camera. If your computer does not have a microphone and a camera, you can always record a video using your phone and upload the file that way. I'll show you both ways in this video. If I click on this button, it's going to bring up some options. You see how I can record the media directly here because I have a camera. Notice how there's also an upload media button and I'll go over that later in this tutorial. My mic is working, I can see the audio levels, and I have my webcam working as well. So for me, I don't have to set anything up. You may have to give Canvas permission to access your webcam or your microphone. Go ahead and position and fix everything up and hit record. It'll count down. Welcome to the course. I look forward to meeting each one of you. My name is Huck Stewart and on and on and on. When you're finished with the video, just hit the finish button. Save the video title and then hit save. Videos will often take a little bit of time to process and upload. The longer the video, the more time it'll take to process the video. To see what the video is like, hit save on the Canvas page. If I've waited long enough for the video to process, then it should work when I hit play. That video worked just fine. Students can minimize or maximize the video. Students can scrub back and forth. If closed caption is available, you can upload closed caption for accessibility. Students can also toggle the full screen mode. Now let's talk about the way that you can upload a video if you don't have a webcam. If you have a cell phone that has a camera, you can always record your video introduction and even record your lectures on your phone. Then what you'll need to do is find a way to send that file to your computer. The other option is that you can download the Canvas mobile app and you can always upload media through the mobile app. I'll show you how to do that one in a different tutorial. For now, let's say you wanted to insert another video that was a file that already existed on your computer. Find another space for your video to be inserted. Go back up to record and upload media. And instead of recording this time, we're gonna go to upload media. You can select an audio file. So this would behave similar to a podcast, or you can select a video file. Once you hit select a video file, your hard drives will appear and you can select the video you want to use Again, remember that the size of the video will determine how long the video will take to process. Once it's done, hit save. It may still take a little bit of time to process. So if you try to hit play right away, it may not load. Let's see what happens when I play this one. And there you go. Two different ways that you can upload recorded media directly onto Canvas. It's best practice if you keep your videos under six minutes long both for uploading purposes, but also retention rate for your students. Students aren't typically going to watch a lecture video longer than six minutes. I hope this instructional video was helpful for you. Have a great day.